five, four, five, five, four, three, three, two, five, 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 one. Okay guys, welcome back to RHS Soccer TV. If this is your first time joining us, make sure you click the subscribe link and notifications bell. And I do highly recommend you go back and watch some of the clips that we've previously posted. Alright, they'll give you a good insight to what's going on based on this YouTube channel. Alright, we're going on to our Ball Mastery Session 2 today. And I'm going to dive straight in with the activities for you guys today. Alright, the first activity we're going to be working on, okay, is going to be roll and move. It's nice and basic. It's still working on a similar motion to what we did in Ball Mastery 1. Okay, but now we're just going to work on the sole of our feet, but moving the ball forwards and backwards in a straight line using both feet. All right? This activity is actually going to take up activity one and activity two, because you're going to spend the same period of time working on the left foot as well. All right? So I'm going to run through a quick demo so you guys can see. All right? Nice and gently, okay? again, using the sole and the base of your foot, rolling the ball forward, moving up behind it, rolling it backwards, making sure you're in position to work behind the ball. Okay, so all we're doing is rolling it forwards, Rolling it backwards, okay? Okay, and once you've done that for activity one, okay, you're gonna do the same thing for activity two, all right? So again, position yourself so you've got a nice small balance in there, rolling the ball forward, moving up after it, foot goes on top, rolling it back, moving behind it, all right? Keep those elbows tucked in tight, keep the gap between the feet, just rolling it forwards, okay, and rolling it backwards, making sure you've got enough space to work, okay? Again, that's gonna be activity one and activity two, all right? And again, you can see it from the reverse as well, Okay, so from here, bend your knees, okay, keep the base of the foot on top of the ball, okay, rolling it forward, rolling it back, but making sure you're moving back, okay, all the way behind the ball before you touch that ball, really, really important thing there, base of roll it forwards, okay, foot on top, roll it back, work behind it, roll it forwards, work behind it, okay. Does everybody understand? So that for you guys is activity one and two, and that's roll and move. All right, have a go at that, see how you get on. The format is in the description link below, all right? Moving on to activities three and activities four, okay? We're gonna be working on push and pull, something we did in ball mastery one. In ball mastery one, we did it moving forwards and backwards. This time, we're gonna be working laterally, so we're gonna be moving the ball to the outside of the body, all right? Two really, really important key factors here, all right? The first one is the positioning of the chest, okay? It's really important that we keep the chest facing forwards, okay? So in this instance, my chest is gonna be facing you guys. That's the first point. Second point is really, really important, the positioning the non-working foot, all right? You wanna position your body at a slight angle. That way, okay, it's easy for me to keep the ball out in front of me. If I move my, my balancing foot in front of the ball, it will now change the angle that my body's working and I'll be working backwards. I'm gonna quickly show you what I mean, all right? So if you look at my balancing foot, it's behind the ball at a slight angle, okay? That allows me to push out and pull back in and keep the ball in front of me. If I bring this foot over here, Okay, and I start pushing out, I'm gonna start moving backwards now, all right? Ideally, that's not what I'm looking for. I wanna try and keep it moving forwards as we can, all right? So it should look like this, okay? So nice and gently, that position your foot. Push out to the side, pull it back. Push, pull, push, pull, okay? My chest is still facing you guys, all right? And again, I'm gonna be working the same format, okay? While I'm working on that, okay? I'll show you again on the left side, okay? Again, just look at where my balancing foot is positioned, okay? So from here, push, Pull, push, pull, push, pull. Trying to keep that balancing foot behind the ball so that I can keep it out in front of me. All right, make sense? I'm gonna show you again from the reverse. Okay, I'll start off with the left foot for me. The ball's out in front there. Balancing foot behind the ball, chest is facing out away. Push, pull, 
push, boom, push, boom. I can still see the picture out there in front. Then again, push it over for the last one. Okay, nice and gently, okay. Push, boom, push, boom, push, boom. I can still see what's going on over there. Making sure my balance is put stay behind the ball. Put the ball stay out in front. All right? So that's exercise three and four for you guys again. Follow the format, okay? Each activity is going to be 10 minutes long, all right? So you do 10 minutes on the right foot and then you do 10 minutes on the left foot, okay? Awesome. Okay guys, moving on to exercise five, all right? Okay guys, moving on to activity number five, all right? This is what I call a body roll, okay? Really, really important that we use this and get into the habit of moving the ball across the body in as many different shapes and forms, okay, as possible, okay? So we're gonna be using, again, the sole of our foot. We're gonna be rolling the ball across the body. But again, what I want you to try and include, okay, is very similar to the outside step over, all right? Is I want you to throw your opposite arm up okay, to offset your opponent's balance, all right? That's to disguise it, that's to make it a little bit more realistic, okay, during gameplay, and hopefully that will throw your defender or opponent off balance, okay? So the way it's gonna work is, nice and gently, and again, don't try and do this too fast, okay? Just get into the habit of building it up. So I'm gonna roll over to the left, okay? I throw the arm up, roll, okay? And then I throw the opposite arm up with the opposite foot, okay? So all I'm doing is just rolling the ball, Across the body okay using both feet making sure opposite arm opposite and it's almost like I'm gonna strike the ball but I'm not and I'm just rolling it that's for you guys if you wanted to position yourself okay on your dominant side on your non-dominant side see the defender and then move into a strike all right so again I'll show you from the rear okay okay nice in position make sure the ball comes across the body let it move out across the body so it looks realistic as well so you've got a bit of space to work Okay, so look, I roll, right foot, left arm, left foot, right arm, okay? Nice and easy, try and keep the ball in front if you can. And just whipping the ball across, just there, okay? So that's activity number five. Again, that's a double workout, so you're working the left and right foot together, so that's only 10 minutes, all right? Have a go at that, see how you guys get on, okay? That's a nice, comfortable one. You don't have to do it too fast. When you get a bit more comfortable, then you can try and pick up the pace, all right? Awesome, guys. This one is called roll step over shift. So we're working both feet in this activity and it's a combination, okay, of some of the drills that we've been working on beforehand in separate activities for our ball mastery sessions, okay? We're gonna be starting off with a roll, then we're gonna work on the inside step over, then we're gonna bring the non-dominant foot into play or the foot that we weren't using, okay, and work on the outside shift. And then we're gonna replicate that on both sides, okay? So we're working them together and we're combining some of the exercises that we've worked on, okay? Again, my advice, two really important key factors. Keeping the chest out in front of you, that allows us to work across the body, okay? The balancing foot, so the foot that we're not working with at that current moment in time, bearing in mind we are switching over, okay? It stays just behind the ball until the push comes in, okay? And really important to gradually build up your pace from the ground up. So I'm gonna have a go at that, show you guys what I mean, and see if you guys can pick it up, okay? All right, so nice and gently, ball starts here. Ball, step, shift, ball, step, shift. Once you pick up your rhythm, 
really try and start to include the arms just to throw your defenders, okay, off balance, all right? So pull, step, shift, pull, step, shift. All right, and again, I'll show you from the rear. Okay, don't rush it, build it up. Again, once you get that balance, then start to throw the arms up. Okay, once you've picked up a little bit. Pull, step, shift, 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 pull, step, shift. Pull, step, shift. All right, guys, that's it for our ball mastery session two. All right, have a go at these ones this week and spend some time doing them, having a go at them. But also, I'd also encourage you guys to go back to ball mastery one and replicate those as well. If you're mastering one exercise, when it starts to filter in and we start to combine them together, you'll find it a little bit easier. All right, that's it for today's session. I'll catch up with you guys again in the week, and I'm going to be setting a challenge this week for you guys which is going to support another skill that you guys need to incorporate into your game and practices as well. All right, have a good one. It's RHS Soccer TV. If you haven't subscribed yet, do so at the bottom. Don't forget to click the notifications bell. All right, all our links and connective portfolios are there, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it is you need to get on. Just give us a shout by any of those methods. All right, have a good one. I'll catch up with you later. Bye for now.